of Drag Academy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with a, I think you could call it a special video. Because today we'll take a look at my full plate armor which is uh, right now my bed. And if you ask me why my face is sweaty as fuck, it is because my stupid camera did record in 480 pixels. Yeah, you heard it. 480. Instead of full HD with 60 frames per second, so that's for you camera, but long story short, we are now taking a look at, uh, we take a uh, look at the other pieces later, but right now we take just a look how long does it take to put on my full plate armor, so let's get started. Some people are ask, probably asking right now, why are you having your Ecotone on right now with your leg plate, uh, with your arm plates? Well, that's basically because I don't wear, because I don't wear any shirt on it, and I leave it because it really gets too hot, and at least right now in the room where I'm, where I am, because you have no. Yeah, we right now have 24.5 degrees, so that's also why I've almost completely opened the window right now. But I can't open it completely because it is raining right now. But, enough with the cork. Let's get right back in, into the topic. So yeah, as you can see, putting it on alone really isn't that difficult. But you're now asking, or probably you're now screaming at me, hey, but you only have put on your leg armor right now. What's about shoulders and especially chest and back plate? Well, wait a second, or a minute. You are seeing it, how I put on the cures. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I'm still learning English, especially in uh, uh, terms of the medieval times and some armor terms. I really need to learn them to get to. Yeah, I don't know how I should, call, how I should say it. To really get sounded nice. So the next lights are on. The next thing. Hold on, is my what I call arming belt, which basically has just one purpose of holding up thigh plates or the leg plates. And no, I'm not really hasting or something. I really do it like every time I put on my plate armor. So. I think that's right. A bit less. Put it uh, all the less. And yeah, and yes, I'm sweaty as fuck. It was 25 degrees in the room. I'm wearing Akaton and almost full plate armor right now. Trust me, it's really hot. So, now, the biggest part. The backplate with shoulder armor. And yes, I have form of our kit. Put it on myself, as you can see. It is that easy. And again, chest plate, which is also Easy to put on. Don't put it on 
completely. Because I need to or need to adjust it. So I can tighten it all the way. Like that. And yes, it is quite strange to put plate armor on alone. But yeah, I need to whack on it to completely fuse the back and chest plate together. Because this is just basically um, one size one size fits all, so it doesn't fit me that well, but or it could fit me way nicer than it does, but for lapping purposes and some Armored show fighting and a couple of, how should I should say, a couple of historic tech drills or some techniques. It really does the job quite nice. And also, even if it is plate armor, it does actually withstand quite some abuse. So I'm really surprised that it actually can hold back some lances and, oh, not some lances, some halberds. I think they're called, yeah, some halberds. Not with full speed, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that should be clear, because a full hit of a halberd uh, could even hurt a bit with some proper armor on it. So, yeah, the only thing left actually is the sword belt, which is here. Which also helps to make the chest and back fit quite a bit nicer. Like this. Oh, maybe. Yeah, another one. Yeah, like that. So then we need to pull it through like this. And like that. I really love the knot, it actually looks quite nice. And two things left. First, get some oh, towels and wipe down my face because it's really, really getting sweaty as fuck. So, two things left, which is just my helmet. More to it in another video. So, like that. Then, beautiful gloves. I really love them. So, glove number one, or gauntlet number one. And gauntlet number two. And, bam, finished. I'm now completely armored. And it probably did took me around 5 minutes or something. Really need to check it out in the video. But, as you can see, you can put on full plate armor alone without help. Just as, almost just as easy as uh, if someone would help you. But, I'm going to show it to you. We have full 360 degrees. And now people would ask, how flex flexible are you in the plate armor and especially what's about your breathing or something you can hear I'm a little bit of ex I'm, li I'm a little bit exhausted. Because as again I've shot it now the second time and I had a really stressful day today. But for the movement six, you can put the arms around like that. I can put them in a really nice position like that. I can put them around the back like this. I can also do something like that. So I could grab around the neck. And I can lie almost the the back. And I can get almost to my toes. If I would really try, I can't get to the toes. And 
yeah, just pro uh, basically, I also can hold myself sideways. I can almost, I can pull my, I can turn my head around, also like this. And now for the legs, the legs are pretty much the same. I can pull them off like this. I can get them like this. I can put them sideways and also, which I really like about it, it doesn't hinder my leg and arm movement at all. Especially the leg, legs are unaffected by the armor completely, I would say. So, now a couple of questions which I get asked every time. How much does all my suit of armor weight. It does weight 25.7 kilograms, yeah, 25.7 kilograms, which sounds a lot, but if you consider that it is distributed evenly about, uh, across your whole body, it is really not that heavy at all. <laughs> you can't feel it after a whole day in your legs, obviously, because, well, you wear 25.7 kilos all the day. So, oh, and again, we're going to go head in the battle, just pop the visor and a lot of people also ask, what's about the film of you? It is actually hinder a bit, but not that much, because it is like this, I can see, see around here, and for the heat, I can see it. Here, so not that much, and lower, you can see, yeah, around here. So it does hinder obviously view quite a bit because it is just a slit under the helmet, but it really doesn't hinder view that view that much. And uh, breathing wise, because the helmet has in its visor a lot of holes, the breathing isn't actually not that bad. Surely it gets hot under the helmet, but it is not that bad. So that's about it, basically. So again, I really hope you enjoyed, my, uh, enjoyed this video about my plate armor. I know it did took quite a bit longer than I would thought it would take, but oh, and also if you want to see my sword, it is. Yeah, I'm pulling it now with my hands because I'm a bit sweaty. So that's my sword and I'm going to show it to you. The engraving is done by me with just a Dremel and the old drill bit. I think it looks actually quite nice. And that's my, how should I say it, my daily driver basically. So I had the sword around, I think, four years right now. Uh, yeah, I have it now four years and it really is a great sword. It only weighs, I think, about 1.3 kilograms. Yeah, it's 1.3 kilograms, so it's really, really light in the hand. So you really can hold it quite nice. And especially if, uh, for training, I really love the blade because uh, in my shop where I get all the stuff. I can get replacement blades, yeah, I can get replacement blades for, I think, half the price of the, of the entire sword, so it really, really is quite nice. So, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you still have some questions or if you want to uh, talk about it uh, with me or discuss, put everything down in the description. If you want some more information about historically correct armor, because again, the torso and the legs are just love plate armor, which again does suit me very well. I really love it. It does fit pretty much like it was a tailor to me, especially the legs. I feel like it were they were tailored uh, tailor to me. So I put again, I put some uh, channels in the description. Check them out. You really uh, will enjoy the content and. Again, hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, bye!